Hi everyone, welcome back to Ataria News Channel. Today I'm going to tell you about something that's going to blow your mind. I mean, if you're into electronics, Internet of Things, or just low cool gadgets. Have you ever wished you had a universal translator for electronic devices? Well, what if I told you that there's a tiny device that can speak to almost any electronic gadget, from your smart lights to sensors, from infrared remotes to Bluetooth devices? Today we are talking about ESP32 Buzz Pirate. So what exactly is ESP32 Buzz Pirate? Imagine you are a detective, but instead of solving crimes, you are trying to understand how electronic devices talk to each other. Every device has its own language. Some speak I2C, others speak SPI, some use Wi-Fi, others use Bluetooth. It's like having a room full of people speaking different languages. The ESP32 Buzz Pirate is basically a universal translator. It's a small piece of software, we call it firmware. You install it on a tiny computer called ESP32. Once installed, this little device can understand and speak dozens of different electronic languages. Think of it like Google Translate, but for electronics. You can use it to listen in on conversation between devices. You call this sniffing, send messages to devices, test if devices are working properly, and even control infrared devices like your TV or air conditioner. The coolest part, you don't need any special hardware. You can buy an ESP32 board for less than $10 and turn it into this amazing tool. This project was created by a developer who goes by GOTP on GitHub. Now you might be wondering why create this when something called the Buzz Pirate already used to exist. Well, the original Buzz Pirate was revolutionary when it came out, but it had its limitations. It was expensive, it needed cables and couldn't do wireless communication. The ESP32 Buzz Pirate takes that concept and supercharges it because it's built on the ESP32 chip. It gets all the modern features for free. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, more processing power and it costs a fraction of the original. It's like comparing a flip phone to a smartphone. Both make calls but one does so much more. Alright, let's talk about what this little device can actually do. And trust me, the list is impressive. First up, it speaks all the major languages that electronic devices use. There's 12C. Think of this as the language that sensors use to talk to microcontrollers. Then there's SPI. This is like a faster version used by displays and memory cards. UART is serial communication, the most basic form of device chatter. And one wire is used by temperature sensors and those little key fobs. But here's where it gets really exciting. It can scan for Wi-Fi networks, even hidden ones. It can pretend to be different devices. We call this spoofing, by the way. It has full Bluetooth capabilities including scanning, connecting and even pretending to be a keyboard or mouse plus infrared control. Yeah, it can control your TV, air conditioner or any infrared device. And get this, you don't even need to connect cables. You can control everything through your web browser. Just connect the ESP32 to your Wi-Fi, open your browser and you have a full command center right there. For real world examples, you could be testing if a sensor is working properly copying the code from an old remote control, analyzing what data your smart home devices are sending, troubleshooting communication problems between devices, or even doing security research on Internet of Things devices. Now, I know what you're thinking. This sounds complicated. But here's the beautiful part. The creators made it surprisingly user-friendly. Getting started is simple. Buy an ESP32 board for around $10, download and flash the firmware using simple tools, connect to Wi-Fi, or plug in a USB cable. Open a terminal or web browser and start typing commands. You get two options for controlling it. There's the serial interface where you connect via USB cable. This is faster and more responsible though. Perfect if you're doing lots of testing. Or there's the web interface where you access everything through any web browser over Wi-Fi. It is perfect for quick tests or when you want to work wirelessly. But it's a little bit slow. The command structure is intuitive too. Want to scan for I2C devices, type I2C, then scan. Want to sniff Wi-Fi traffic, type Wi-Fi, then sniff. It's that simple, man. The project also includes tons of documentation, examples, and even Python scripts to automate common tasks. So who is this for? You might think it's only for hardware electronics engineers, but actually it's useful for a surprisingly wide range of people. Makers and hobbyists will find it perfect for troubleshooting Arduino or Raspberry Pi projects. IoT developers, which means Internet of Things developers consider it essential for testing and debugging smart home devices. Security researchers use it for analyzing IoT device security. Students find it an 
excellent learning tool for understanding how devices communicate. Repair technicians use it for diagnosing electronic equipment issues. And curious tech enthusiasts, basically anyone who wants to understand how their gadgets work, will love exploring with it. Even if you're just getting started with electronics, this tool can help you learn by letting you see exactly how devices communicate with each other. For those who want the technical details, it's built on ESP32 S3, though it works with other ESP32 variants too. It's completely open source and free to use and modify. Supports voltages of 3.3V and 5V. Though be careful with voltage levels. It has active development with regular updates and works with popular ESP32 boards like M5 stack devices. The project is hosted on GitHub, so you can see exactly how everything works and even contribute improvements if you want. The ESP32 bus pirate represents the democratization of hardware hacking tools. What used to require expensive, specialized equipment can now be done with a $10 chip and free open source software. Whether you are troubleshooting a project, learning about electronics, or just curious about how your devices communicate, this tool is going to open up a whole world of possibilities here. I have put links to the project, documentation and some getting started guides in the description box below. Don't forget to like this video if it was helpful. Subscribe for more tech deep dives and ring that notification bell so you don't miss our latest content. Thanks for watching Atarian News channel and I'll see you in the next one.